So, okay, here's the thing. Happy New Year's. We've all moved into the new studio, and as is traditional on this channel, for my New Year's video, I'm going to ask my local Christmas angel what I should do for a holiday video. You've literally never done that before. You can't prove anything. Anyway, Christmas angel, what should I do for my New Year's video this year? You got it, Christmas Angel! Without further ado, here's what you need to know before joining Tumblr. First things first, this video is not comprehensive at all. I initially drew up a checklist of things to include in the video, and... It didn't go well. So instead, I'm only going to cover a couple things that could help you with moving to Tumblr from other social media platforms. Then in the description, I'm going to put a link to the For the Tumblr video tag on my Tumblr, which you can browse to see some other helpful intro to Tumblr stuff that some other people have done. Also, a quick note about Tumblr memes. I might make a video later going a bit more in-depth with some Tumblr memes and lore, but A, the fantastic Jan Misali has already done a series of videos on Tumblr memes. Palisina li pone e nasi mi, Jan Misali. And two, if I started doing that here, I might wind up talking for 30 minutes about Horse Plinko and November the 5th and the really fascinating evolution that the EBDB meme went through after someone shared it to Tumblr, and I don't have that kind of time. If you stick around on Tumblr for long enough, you can more or less get a hold on the meme. All I have to say about that here is that there are many benefits to being a marine biologist. So, first, arguably the most important difference between Tumblr and other social media. You'll hear a lot of people say that Tumblr does not have an algorithm, and while that's practically true, it's not literally 100% true. Tumblr technically has an algorithm. But the algorithm is so out of the way and completely non-functional in its structure that you can say Tumblr doesn't have an algorithm and you won't get arrested by space cops. Uh, which is good, because I'm going to say it a lot in this video and I don't need any more cops pursuing me than I already have. The closest thing Tumblr has to TikTok's FYP is a page called the Explore page, but it differs from the TikTok version in two key ways. First of all, the Explore page isn't the default. The default page is the dashboard, which is just a chronological feed of everyone you follow. Secondly, people don't really use the Explore page, because to put it politely, the Explore page is garbage. Other social media, like, gets to know you after a while, whereas I've been using Tumblr for about a decade, and for some godforsaken reason, this exact mediocre cat meme has been sitting at the top of my Explore page with 800 notes for at least a couple of months now. I do not know this cat. I do not follow this blog. 800 notes isn't even viral here. And yet Tumblr continues to hold the chubby cat to my eyes, saying, Hey, look at this chubby cat. And I look at the cat that I have never once reblogged, and I say thank you to Tumblr. This is mostly because I feel sorry for Tumblr, but also a little because I know that the alternative is, well, what TikTok does. Here's some super relatable videos about redheaded animators from Canada who regularly ride bus Route 7 and have postcodes ending in 8426. TikTok, I'm not. Isn't that hoodie one of mine? Yes. How did you get my hoodie? Wait, didn't I throw that one away? I went through your trash. I'm always watching you. It smells like your skin. Somehow, I don't feel like this is a healthy social media experience. On TikTok, there are rules. The algorithm, the outer god whose thought process is unknowable but whose whims can occasionally be divined. Careful rituals must be observed and arranged, lest the dark void opens beneath you and sucks you in, throwing your shriveled body to algorithmic oblivion. Don't engage with a creator's older posts. Don't use the word boost in your comments. And never, ever spam like. On Tumblr, you can throw all that wacky malarkey right out the window. Remember, you cannot accidentally hurt someone's chances in the Tumblr algorithm because Tumblr doesn't have an algorithm. Spam liking or spam reblogging doesn't exist as a concept here. The practice of scrolling through someone's blog and reblogging post after post after post after post is a time-honored tradition. It's not uncommon to get 30 notifications in a row of the same person liking and reblogging stuff, and it's usually a nice thing, especially if it's one of your friends. If you particularly like something, you can even reblog it multiple times. It's not like Twitter or TikTok where you can only retweet or repost something once. You can reblog a post as many times as you want. 
Fill your friends' dashboards with one specific picture of Misha Supernatural. Who's gonna stop you? The president? That sucker can't catch you. His shoes don't even have laces anymore. Which brings us to another vitally important part of Tumblr. The primary way that posts on Tumblr get around is by people reblogging them. Again, there's no algorithm, so your stuff isn't shown to people by the site. When you reblog something, it puts that thing on your blog and it shows up on your followers' dashboards. Liking posts is nice. Uh, I'd never say don't click the like button, for crying out loud, I'm a YouTuber saying don't click the like button is against my religion. But unlike YouTube or TikTok, liking something doesn't boost it in the algorithm on Tumblr because, say it with me now, there is no algorithm. Liking something just saves it to your liked posts list. To boost stuff, reblog it. Also, people on other sites worry about interacting with old posts. Do not hesitate to interact with old posts on Tumblr. There are posts on Tumblr, including posts that you've probably enjoyed seeing screenshots of on Twitter or TikTok or Instagram, that are over a decade old and still circulating. If you're in your early teens, there are probably still actively circulated posts on Tumblr that are older than you are. And that's fine. Tumblr is an old beast with old lore and it's fine. One last thing to keep in mind about reblogging. People on Tumblr reblog things. You know who don't reblog things? Bots and you don't want to look like a bot on Tumblr. Step one, reblog things. You don't need to add anything. You don't even need to add tags. Just reblog stuff that you like. Bots usually have empty blogs. Step two, change your profile picture and header text. Don't use a picture of your face or your name, but it can be anything else. For the header, it can be anything from certified cool dude to don't block me, I'm not a bot to Elon Musk official. For the profile pic, Favorite character from a TV show, screenshot of a video game you like, picture of a snake wearing jeans, high definition JPEG of a coconut, anything you want. Just don't have it be the default. Step three, there is no step three. If you look like a bot, people will block you without hesitation. I've got a long fun history with bots and you don't want to become a part of it. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this one short because it's not very funny, but it is very important. So I want people to pay attention. Here's a list of things not to do on Tumblr or really any social media site. Basic Internet Safety 101. Do not put your exact age in your bio. Do not put your real name anywhere on the site. Avoid using images of your real face wherever you can. Don't list your triggers. Don't list your disabilities in detail. Don't give out any identifying information whatsoever. List of things you should do on Tumblr. Go into the settings and hide your following list and your liked post list. If you follow someone and realize that you don't want to see what they post anymore, unfollow them. If someone harasses you, don't engage, just block them. If you ever feel the need to send a hateful message to someone, don't send it, just block them. This site is for hanging out and vibing with our pals, and we don't want our pals to accidentally dox themselves or get harassed into misery. Keep safe. Oh, and please do not self-censor on Tumblr the way that you do on TikTok. We don't say unalive here, we say kill. Especially, do not censor trigger warnings. People need those. Don't fill the words with asterisks and exclamation marks because people use Tumblr's tag blocking system to filter those words and spelling suicide like this won't register in the system and it might wind up harming people. So, in summary, Tumblr does not have an algorithm. Any and all behaviors you've learned from algorithm imprisonment do not apply here. Reblog stuff you like and engage with the community. Stay safe and don't share personal details. And one final point, please don't look at Tumblr as a platform on which to become quote unquote popular. Don't try to get popular here. There's a good analogy from Tumblr user at Headspace Dad who had this to say. You've got to think of Tumblr less as a classroom where one person is teaching and more as a nature hike with friends. You see a shiny rock you like. You pick it up. You show it to a friend. They like it and show it to their friend. Their friend puts a pair of googly eyes on it and passes it to their friend. Their friend runs off to share it with a group of their friends that are looking at bugs under a rock. You don't have to interact. All you have to do is share the rock with a friend because you know your friends might like to see the rock. Someone passes you a dandelion they picked. You think it's cool and pass it to a friend you know likes the color yellow. They hand you a yellow leaf. You pass the leaf back to the dandelion friend. The point of having a blog on Tumblr is to share stuff that you think is cool with people that follow you. People will follow you because they think the stuff you're scrapbooking on your blog is cool or fun or weird or funny or heartfelt, etc. You can absolutely paint your own rock and share it with friends. But if all you do is pass on someone else's painted rock because you think the people following your blog will like seeing it, that's awesome too. So that's Tumblr. 
There's more to say, because there's always more to say. Especially when you're in the room. But I think that's a good start. If you want to make your own blog, but you don't know who to follow, get your friends to make their own tumblers and all follow each other. And I can link some blogs in the description that either make good stuff or reblog good stuff or both. So, how was that, Christmas Angel? Oh, you meant, you meant making a video about tumblers, like the cup. Okay, uh, yeah, no, yeah, I can do that. Ah, uh, so, tumblers. Pretty good cup design. Uh, maybe don't use them for hot beverages because they don't have handles. Well, unless they're, like, insulated. Four out of five stars. Special thanks to Justin Doak, my first legendary Manticore patron. If you'd like your name in the credits and some other cool perks as well, go check out my Patreon linked in the description.